Font ligatures are one of the most purposeful elements in graphic design. The word comes from the Latin ligare. It means to tie. A ligature in fonts combines two or three characters into a single character to help kerning and for decorative purposes. Hi, my name is Laura, and welcome to this Tuts Plus tutorial how to use font ligatures in InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator. In this tutorial, we take a look at what are font ligatures, how to use them, and what are the best ligature fonts. For this tutorial, you will need two fonts, and we will use a couple from Envato Elements. We will be using Karen and Mondia. These two fonts contain some great ligatures. But first, let's take a look at what are font ligatures. There are two types of ligatures. Standard ligature. This type of ligature helps with the kerning when some characters take over the horizontal space of the next character. In English, ligatures with FI, FL, FF, FFI are common because there are many words with these combinations. The second type of ligatures is discretionary ligatures. These tend to be decorative. Combinations like FB, FH, FJ, FK are usually included in discretionary ligatures. How to use ligatures in InDesign. Open Adobe InDesign and create a new document. To activate or deactivate ligatures, open the character panel by going to Window, Type, Character. Click on the top right corner menu and select ligatures to activate or deactivate them. Select the text tool from the toolbar and type any text. For this tutorial, I will use the Twin Moon In. Set the font to Mondia. Head over to Window, Type Glyphs to open the Glyphs panel. On the Glyphs panel, set the subset of glyphs to discretionary ligatures to access the ligatures included in the font. Select the pair of characters you would like to change using the text tool and double click on the ligature of your choice on the Glyphs panel. Remember to activate the ligatures on the open type panel if you want them to appear automatically. How to use ligatures in Photoshop. Open Adobe Photoshop and create a new document. To activate or deactivate automatic ligatures, open the character panel by going to Window, Character. On this panel, the first button activates the standard ligatures, while the third button activates discretionary ligatures. I will deactivate both so we can take a further look into the glyphs panel. Select the text tool from the toolbar and type any text. For this tutorial, I will use Chantin at the Inn. Set the font to Karen. Head over to Window, Glyphs to open the Glyphs panel. On the Glyphs panel, set the subset of glyphs to discretionary ligatures to access the ligatures included in the font. Not all fonts contain both discretionary and standard ligatures, so it is useful to check both. To use the ligatures on the Glyphs panel, select the pair of characters you would like to change using the text tool and double click on the ligature of your choice on the Glyphs panel. And that's how easy you can use ligatures in Adobe Photoshop. Let's jump into how to use ligatures in Illustrator. Open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document. To activate or deactivate ligatures, open the Open Type panel by going to Window, Type, Open Type. On this panel, the first button activates the standard ligatures, while the third button activates discretionary ligatures. Deactivate both so we can take a look at the Glyphs panel. Select the text tool from the toolbar and type any text. I will use Finding Waffles. Set the font to Mondia. Head over to Window, Type, Glyphs to open the Glyphs panel. Mondia contains discretionary and standard ligatures, so on the Glyphs panel, set the subset of glyphs to standard ligatures. Select the pair of characters you would like to change using the text tool and double click on the ligature of your choice on the Glyphs panel. Let's take a look at some awesome fonts that contain the coolest font ligatures. Kelly Bolt is a versatile vintage font. It is perfect as body copy or display font. The beautiful ligatures are elegant and they can be used for branding as they can make your logo look unique. Crimson Foam. This beautiful and elegant chic script font is so well crafted. It features beginning and ending lowercase swashes that can make for a great display font. It also contains an extensive ligature library with combinations between many characters to make the font appear as realistic as possible. 
Hazard. This script is a retro-inspired font combined with hand lettering. The curves on each character are smooth and highly crafted and perfected. The ligatures can help you use unique two-character combinations, giving a logo a very special look. Augilion is a soft serif font. It is modern and bold. It has a romantic vibe. The pack includes Swash's characters and awesome ligatures. Harriet. This script font contains a natural line movement. This monoline signature style script is elegant with playful swashes. High quality handwritten style fonts are hard to find, and Harriet is the perfect script font for any branding project. In this video, we show you what are ligatures. We show you how to use them in InDesign, Photoshop, and Illustrator, and outline some of the best ligature fonts. And now it's your turn to show us your favorites. And remember, if you're looking for font ligatures, be sure to check out Envato Elements and Graphic River for amazing design assets. From all of us at Envato Tuts Plus, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.